we millennials were we're no longer kids. I mean, let's admit it. We're no longer kids. Um, uh, in fact, most of us are, uh, you know, uh, right now trying to build and establish our own careers. Uh, we're trying to start our own families. And of course, we're trying to build wealth, you know, by saving, by investing uh, one step at a time. We're no longer kids because these things, they're called adulting, all right? It's uh, it, it, it's no secret though. Uh, despite despite this this adulting thing, it's no secret that our generation has quite a bad reputation. Uh, and for us to solve these issues, we first need to understand these problems. The first one being, they say money and millennials don't mix. According to a Business Insider article, um, we're having a difficult time managing money. We might be the most scrutinized generation. We always get compared to others, especially when it comes to the way we handle our finances. They say we're heavy spenders, and uh, that's why we don't end up saving anything. Uh, but in truth and in fact, we're not that bad when it comes to managing money. We're just living in a different environment. And that forces us to behave a little differently. You know, uh, We look beyond... Uh, we look beyond uh, beyond brands. Uh, we look beyond traditional banking. Uh, we're not loyal to certain certain banks just because we started banking with them. <clears throat> uh, because we look for convenience. As a generation, uh, we uh, we we prioritize convenience. We prioritize ease of access. We put premium into rewards. Uh, we put premium into perhaps cashback. Uh, uh, benefits and uh, from time to time we also consider banks with uh, zero fund transfer or zero ATM withdrawal fees. In fact, if you're actually going to look at it, we are actually much more savvy when it comes to money because uh, we would like to make the most out of it. The next is, according to Bloomberg, only 15, 50%, only half of millennials are likely to own a home. It said that because of our YOLO or our you only live once approach in life, we don't take responsibilities, relationships, or even investments seriously. What people fail to realize though is that the prices of pretty much everything, uh, uh, food, shelter, clothing, the price of pretty much everything we spend for just to survive, they're going through the roof. Um, you know we've been uh, we've been wrongly labeled as a generation who does not see value in real estate investing but don't get us wrong you know we'd love to it's just that millennials just couldn't seem to afford it well at least just yet um, let's talk about this in the context of uh, supply and demand um, uh, when you have more and more and more people being born into this uh, into this world demanding real estate, and when you have lesser and lesser and lesser available vacant lots, it's just going to jack the prices of real estate properties up. That's why if you'll notice back in the day, it's okay for our parents uh, to just have a bungalow built. But today, uh, people go for multi-level structures uh, to make the most out of the lot area because real estate is becoming more and more scarce and more and more expensive. This is why we saw the liter literal rise, uh, perhaps literal and figurative rise of condo living because it uh, tends to cater to the growing demand for shelter. Again, because real estate is becoming more and more scarce and more and more expensive. That's why even the biggest developers in the Philippines, they're slowly you know, in, into, into this uh, habit of uh, converting bodies of water into reclamation projects uh, because real estate is uh, becoming more and more scarce and of course, becoming more and more expensive. Let's now go to Time Magazine's uh, article claiming that you millennials, you are so lazy. They're failing to realize that uh, because of the higher skill level of millennials, 
we've actually pushed productivity to all time highs because we can make the most out of technology, social media, and the internet. We tend to be perceived as lazy. Uh, most people don't uh, uh, think, most people think that uh, relying on such, relying on social media, relying on uh, uh, the internet, relying on productivity hacks, uh, it requires very little to uh, no effort at all. So that's the misnomer. Uh, we actually are hard working, but uh, we are put in an environment which increasingly compensates us for less because society thinks that we're not working hard. Millennials actually work multiple jobs. We do online businesses. We have side hustles. We actually made the gig economy happen. We invented the hustle culture. Millennials actually work smart. And in millennial terms, working smart also means working hard. Number four, millennials are perceived to be entitled. Millennials may be better skilled. We may be better educated, full of productivity hacks, but we're being paid 20% less on the average compared to what our boomer counterparts are being paid at the same stage in their lives. Wage has not been catching up with the real world cost of living and inflation. And that's why our generation, um, it's almost a given for us to be a little bit more creative and look for additional sources of income. Again, which goes back to us establishing this gig culture, this uh, hustle uh, culture, the gig economy, yung pagraket. Next is, it's very important for us to also understand that uh, borrowing does not necessarily mean struggling. Fortune tells us that millennials are deep in debt. Yung counterparts natin sa United States of America, ang mostly utang daw nila is uh, uh, yung, yung, yung college tuition fee nila, di ba? Um, and then uh, uh, another thing is uh, credit card debt. But in the Philippines, same is true. Wala lang tayong utang bilang estudyante. Wala lang tayong utang masyado sa credit card. But meron pa rin tayong utang. <clears throat> Borrowing does not necessarily mean that we're struggling though. Because sa sabi ko nga, as I always keep on telling you guys, not all utangs are created equal. It's okay to borrow if the benefits outweigh the cost. Uh, if it can potentially increase the value of your money. Or perhaps if you'll be able to acquire a quality asset which can outlive the term of your loan. A multipurpose loan uh, uh, to, to finally get you that opportunity to start investing. It's a good kind of utang. Uh, a personal loan for you to be able to buy a laptop and open a business. Well, that's a good kind of utang. Uh, a home loan for you to be able to stop paying rent and start embracing the responsibilities of uh, home ownership. That's also a good kind. Of utang. You know, a loan can potentially make your money make more money. Uh, you do that by uh, investing, for example, in the money market, uh, the bond market, uh, the stock market. You can do that by potentially investing in perhaps real estate. Again, the idea is for us to make our money make more money. If you borrow, we're creating that opportunity to grow your money. But the thing is, Society is quick to judge that we are bad with money, judgmental, uh, that we won't be able to buy a house, that we're lazy, that uh, we're entitled, uh, and uh, we're deep in debt. But at the end of the day, it's totally up to us if we're going to accept these as facts and be the victim, or perhaps challenge ourselves individually and each other as a generation, as a community, as the Gen Y, as the millennials, to do better and perhaps end up becoming the victor. Because it doesn't matter how little or how big you're earning. We become rich when we manage our spending. Your friend, they may be uh, receiving quite a lot when it comes to their salary. Um, uh, but if they spend practically everything on sneakers, junk food, vices, they'll end up with very little to no mo money at all for saving and investing. You, on the other hand, uh, you might not be getting paid a lot, well, at least just yet. Uh, but you're, if, if you make it a point, if you still make it a point to invest a portion of your income on a regular basis, this allows you to create multiple sources of income. 
one small amount at a time, one payday at a time. You know, uh, don't ever underestimate the value of uh, uh, investing or saving small amounts. Um, uh, saving, for example, 20 pesos a day means you get to save 600 pesos a month. Saving 20 pesos a day means you get to save 7,200 a year. This might not be a game changer of an amount. No? Uh, baka yung 600 a month or 7,200 a year parang sa inyo, walang kwenta yan, parang uh, wala, wala akong mabibili dyan. But uh, I perfectly understand. My point here is we seem to take small amounts of saving for granted. Pagdating sa pag-iipon, itong mga 20-20 pesos kada araw, parang binabaliwala natin. Pero pagdating sa bisyo, it's easy for us to convince ourselves to spend 100 pesos a day on cigar. 100 pesos a day on bisyo. We seem to make all sorts of justification just to convince ourselves, ah, okay lang yan. Pwede naman siguro na 100 lang naman yan. Uh, baliwala lang naman yan. Not knowing that this costs us eventually 3,000 pesos a month or perhaps 36,000 pesos a year. Not to mention the irreversible damage it brings to our health. It's easy for us to convince ourselves to spend 140 pesos a day on a cup of Instagrammable signature coffee or perhaps milk tea, not knowing that this costs us 4,200 pesos a month or 50,400 pesos a year, not to mention the extra sugar and calories. Let's talk about online shopping. Ito, pinaka, pinaka madaling budol to eh, online shopping because just at the tip of your fingers, add to cart, super easy. Uh, did you know that when it comes to online shopping, uh, this craze all started in China. You know, They have this singles day, an unofficial, so unofficial siya, hindi siya, hindi siya yung kagaya dito sa Pilipinas na walang pasok. No? Sinasabi lang na singles day because of 11-11, November 11, one 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 single, mag-isa, no? so parang walang jowa. Um, uh, they're holding this every November 11. Tapos ang ginagawa ng mga bachelors and bachelorettes sa China, uh, this is uh, during pre, bago pa, no? bago pa magkaroon ng online shopping craze, Ang ginagawa nila during November 11, they celebrate it by, by shopping, they celebrate it by dining out, they celebrate it basically by spending. No? So parang sinasabi lang nila na it's actually okay to be single. So they're celebrating uh, their being single. Uh, to celebrate uh, uh, this even more, lalo na ng panahon na ng e-commerce, Alibaba, no? the grandfather of uh, uh, online shopping, Alibaba took it to the next level by organizing an annual 11-11 online sale wherein practically every item sold in their platform comes at a discount. So parang yung mga regular prices niya, 50% off, regular prices, 80% off. Uh, this is being done to encourage people to, to spend because ang iniisip natin, you know, psychologically speaking, kahit hindi ko kailangan to, sayang yung 50% off. Looks good. Baka pwedeng okay lang. Baka may, baka may mapaggamitan ako eventually. Hindi ko siya kailangan ngayon. But just because it's 50% off, okay lang. Add to cart. Um, uh, kaya, in true Pinoy fashion, yung ginawa ni Alibaba, no, yung, yung inumpisahan ni Alibaba na 11-11 online sale, in true Pinoy fashion, we're, we're very competitive. Eh. We're very, very competitive. We kind of one up Alibaba. Our online shopping apps here in the Philippines, hindi lang siya masaya sa 11-11. I mean, I think you know what I'm, uh, you, you know exactly what I mean. Kasi dito, January 1, February 2, 3-3, 4-4, May 5, June 6, 7 8-8, 9-9, 10-10, and even 12-12, we actually make a big deal off of them. And uh, kung sa China, they're encouraging people to spend at least once a year because of 11-11, tayo once a month. And uh, talk about budol, di ba? So if you're being encouraged to spend, if uh, you're being tempted to spend once a month, imagine the toll it takes no? pagdating sa finances mo na gustong-gusto mong mag-ipon, gustong-gusto mong mag-invest, pero parati kang natitemp, parati kang nabubudol. At the end of the day, hindi to kasalanan ng Alibaba. At the end of the day, hindi to kasalanan ng mga online shopping platforms, online shopping apps. At the end of the day, 
kasalanan natin to and kapag nagpabudol tayo ibig sabihin marupok tayo marupok tayo because we don't have a plan we don't have a budget we don't have a game plan we don't have a strategy and that's essentially why you need to take your finances seriously. Kapag nabubudol ka, kapag nagiging marupok ka, kasi isipin mo na lang, ilang oras mong pinaghirapan yung pera na ilang minuto mo lang ginastos online. Alright? Again, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it's a bad idea to spend. Again, for us to live, we need to spend. For us to be able to go to work, we need to spend. For us to be able to send our kids to school, we need to work. For us to be able to uh, I'll put a roof over our heads we need to spend but the idea is to spend within a budget I have nothing wrong when it comes to spending the idea is for us to spend within a budget something that most Filipinos don't practice you know so my challenge for you guys is perhaps by the next sale 8, 8 August 8 the challenge is are you going to add items to your cart is it going to be, to be add to cart or are you going to start investing and add investment items to your port? Because if you keep on adding investment items to your port, eventually, as time goes on, you create multiple sources of income. Those multiple sources of income provide you with passive income. And that it's just going to keep on growing and growing and growing your money. It's just going to keep on growing and growing and growing your hard-earned money. Remember, the less money you spend on unnecessary purchases, on unnecessary expenses, the more money you get to save and invest. The more money you have left for saving and investing purposes. If you get to have more money left for saving and investing purposes, the more it can contribute to your passive income. While it's true that your salary is a source of income, it's also true that it's not the only source of income. Millennials, you know, we, we know this better. We made side hustle cool. We made the gig economy cool. We made racket cool. But these require hard labor. These require having to go out. These require having to exert a lot of effort or spend a lot of time doing. Gig, hustle, racket. Kailangan ng effort. Kailangan nating magtrabaho. Kailangan nating kumayod. You're only able to unlock the true potential of money by investing it. And in doing so, you're creating an opportunity for your money to make more money. You just have to understand that when it comes to investing, when it comes to establishing businesses, it's very important to understand, start as early as possible and start if and only if you understand what you're getting yourself into. We can only do so much. You know, we need to recharge. We need to uh, unwind. We need to relax. And from time to time, uh, we have to understand that we're vulnerable to getting sick. Uh, the more side hustle you get, the more sleep you need, the more extra gig uh, that you get, the more you need to relax. The more racket you get, the more vulnerable you are to getting sick. But uh, you also need to understand that these things you can totally avoid if we make our money do the heavy lifting. Because if we're able to invest our money, it's going to continue working 24 by 7. Because money does not need to sleep. Money does not need to relax. You know, um, it, it's, it's not going to ask for weekends off. It won't go on vacation because money, no matter how hard it works, money just doesn't get sick. And you'll only be able to make your money do these things if you make little sacrifices for, for you to free up money to invest. At this day and age, you can never go wrong with quarantine investments. These are budget-friendly online investments, perfect for us millennials, perfect for our lifestyle, perfect for our personalities, and perfect for our goals. It's very important that we begin by talking about perhaps the most popular of them all. 
Let's talk about stocks. First on our list, the stock market. Online stock market investing. Investing in stocks gives you the opportunity to become co-owners of publicly listed corporations. An active stock brokerage account will enable you to easily buy them online. It will allow you to choose from close to 300. It will allow you, it gives you the power to choose from among close to 300 listed stocks to choose from, including the top 30 companies in the Philippines, which we call the Philippine Stock Exchange Index or the PSEI or the index stocks or blue chip stocks from which you can earn by uh, way of capital appreciation and dividends. So again, when it comes to stock market investing, you earn from two potential sources, capital, capital appreciation, when you buy low, sell high, and when it comes to dividends. Why are you supposed to receive dividends? Well, because you're a part owner of a listed corporation. And by virtue of being a part owner, you're eligible to receive a share of uh, the profits that the company makes. And of course, it's also very important to understand that in investing in stocks, you're essentially owning a business without having to run a business. And you can start it for as little as 5,000 pesos. Again, you talk about uh, uh, the PSEI or index or blue chip stocks. Uh, they're more than just popular. Uh, they're, they, they, they're not just household names, but uh, they're uh, historically proven you know, to weather economic downturns. Um, uh, they're the biggest companies in their respective sectors. They may be top of mind when it comes to branding. And of course, uh, it's very important for us investors. They're consistent. They're very much consistent when it comes to dividend payment. Um, uh, again, it's very important to understand that uh, investing in stocks allows us to own a business without having to run the business. So that means you can own a fast food chain without really having to wake up early in the morning to open branches. It means you can co-own a power generation company without really having to go out of your way to solve uh, problems. It means you can uh, run a conglomerate, you can buy a conglomerate without having to uh, uh, solve their, their internal problems. Because again, you are just a stockholder. You're not the one running the show. It's also very important, again, to understand that these things, these, op th these opportunities, the opportunity for you to co-own the best companies in the Philippines, ran by the best management teams in the country, can be available for you, available for you to take advantage of, again, for as little as 5,000 pesos. Very budget-friendly, very millennial-friendly. Now, if, if, you, if you feel that you're not cut for stocks, Though uh, there's this mutual fund uh, option for you to take advantage of. Mutual funds pool money of uh, like-minded or mutual uh, uh, investors with mutual um, uh, uh, goals, mutual objectives. They then uh, get uh, assigned to uh, full-time professional fund managers. And then they also get invested in approved publicly disclosed investment vehicles. This means that even before you buy that mutual fund, even before you invest in that particular mutual fund, you are already aware where your money is going to be invested in. And by the time they generate returns, the returns get passed back on to us as investors. It's uh, very much legitimate. It's actually established under Republic Act 2629. Um, uh, it gives you uh, it gives you the opportunity to check the legitimacy of uh, uh, mutual fund companies by way of checking www.sec.gov.ph. Not just mutual fund companies, but also mutual fund salespersons. No? So at least uh, you know that even before you hand over your, uh, your your investments, of course you're not supposed to hand it over physically. Well, before you transfer it, before you deposit it, before you make that decision. Uh, you know for a fact that you're dealing with a legitimate mutual fund company and you're speaking to a legitimate mutual fund salesperson. So again, www.sec.gov.ph. As mentioned, mutual funds provide you with instant diversification. Buying just one fund will enable you to indirectly co-own 10, 20, 30 multiple investment assets. It's uh, measured by uh, way of uh, net asset value per share. 
um, it provides you with access to high income investments na mahal kung bibilin mo ng individually and uh, be, simply because we're pulling our money together because bin, nagbabakas-bakas tayo ng pera kahit mahal siya we can now already afford to invest in in them because uh, mas marami na tayong pera mas marami na tayong kapital it's uh, very much liquid so that means if you're trying to buy a mutual fund at wala namang nagbebenta ng mutual fund na yon the mutual fund company can actually sell shares to you and consequently if you're uh, about to exit kumita ka na gusto mo nang magbenta at wala ka namang nakikitang bumibili ng mutual fund the mutual fund company can buy it off of you uh, another thing that makes mutual fund uh, worthwhile another thing that makes mutual fund investing very investor friendly and millennial friendly is the fact that your earnings yung kinikita mo exempt siya from capital gains tax so ibig sabihin the less and less sabi nga natin kanina no pag napapakonti mo, kapag nababawasan mo yung expenses, kapag nababawasan mo yung mga bagay na nagbabawas ng pera, mas marami kang kinikita, mas marami kang pwedeng i-save, mas marami kang pwedeng i-invest. At ganun din pagdating sa mutual funds. Hindi ka binabawasan yung kita mo, hindi binabawasan ng capital gains tax. So ibig sabihin, yung extra na kita na yon, pwede mong withdrawin para ipanggastos or pwede mong ibalik sa mutual fund as uh, additional investments. Again, you take advantage of professional fund management services. You pretty much outsource uh, the decision making to professionals kasi sila yung mas nakakaalam nito, sila yung mas nag-aaral at sila yung mas may oras para mag-invest at aralin ng investments para sa And again, similar to stocks, very investor friendly. For as little as 5,000 pesos, you can actually start investing in mutual funds. Simply put, para mas madali nating intindihin, no? ano bang difference ng stocks at mutual funds? Pagdating sa stock market, ikaw ang driver. Pag ikaw ang driver, sa totoong buhay, you have full control. If you have full control, uh, ikaw ang magsasabi sa nakuhihin to to buy a stock. Saan ako magbebenta kapag gusto ko ng, uh, sa nakuhihin to pag gusto ko ng magbenta? It really depends on the personality. No? So sinasabi nga natin, kahit uh, pare-pareho tayong millennials, kahit pare-pareho tayong merong bad reputation when it comes to money, iba-iba pa rin yung personality natin individually. So there are people na komportable sa ganitong uh, sitwasyon. Merong taong hindi. Pagdating sa stock market, meron kang driver. So medyo mas social lang dating. No? But uh, para sa totoong buhay, kapag may driver ka, meron kang ekstrang bayad kasi binabayaran mo yung fund management services nung driver mo. The good thing about that is less focus from your end. So ibig sabihin, pwede kang nasa likod, hindi ka nagda-drive, pwedeng nagte-text ka, pwedeng nagte-tiktok ka, pwedeng natutulog ka, pwedeng nagtatrabaho ka. Because again, you're not supposed to monitor the market. You're paying your driver, you're paying your fund manager to do that for you. Uh, but the problem is, hindi siya kagaya ng Grab or Uber driver na pag sinabi mo, oh, ihatid mo nga ako dito. Hindi siya nakikinig sa iyo. You are paying your driver, you are paying your fund manager to make investment decisions for you, not to listen to you. So, now that you've uh, already understood uh, the main difference between a stock and a mutual fund, the next thing that you need to understand is there's actually an investment option which pretty much combines the best features of stocks and mutual funds. Ang tawag natin sa kanya, Exchange Traded Funds or ETF. And in the Philippines, you have to understand that there's only one no, ETF in the country. And that's what we call FM ETF or First Metro Exchange Traded Fund. FM ETF is super affordable. FM ETF is super simple. FM ETF is super tradable because unlike mutual funds na merong uh, minimum holding period, etong ETF Pag binili mo na siya ng umaga, tapos kumita ka ng hapon, pwede mo na siyang ibenta. That makes it super tradable and very liquid. Apart from it combining the best features of stocks and mutual funds, FM ETF in particular, it only invests in the best companies in the Philippines. It's what we call PSEI, blue chips, or index stocks. So you're, you're, you're investing in an investment outlet which combines the best features of stocks and mutual funds and if you're investing in FM ETF, you're also investing in the best stocks in the country for as little as 1,500 pesos. Kung bibilin mo isa-isa, yung the best of the best na yan, the blue chips, no? prepare to spend somewhere between 700 to 800,000 pesos. And that's a lot. That's not investor friendly. That's not millennial friendly. But what FM ETF does is 
it combines no it 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 buys it uh, it buys all these companies no binibili niya to nilalagay niya sa isang basket in that basket what we call FM ETF is something you can buy again for as little as 1500 pesos very affordable and again very attractive because you don't end up spending a lot and you also end up buying the best it's as if you're buying one but you're getting 30 of the best companies in the philippines no another thing that you also need to be aware of is the combination of real estate and mutual funds so kanina ano yung combination ng stocks at mutual funds we call that fm etf or etf this one kapag kinumbay natin ang features ng real estate uh, uh, properties as a form of investment and mutual funds we're getting REITs or real estate investment trusts. Ito, it's relatively uh, new asset class in the Philippines. Uh, 2020 lang siya inopen uh, sa market. 2020 lang siya inoffer sa market. And what it does is it allows us, you and me, millennials, pwedeng the Gen Zs, no? uh, the, the baby boomers, it allows Filipinos to invest, co-own, Uh, income generating commercial real asset uh, real estate assets no um, office buildings malls um, condos hospitals uh, uh, hotels parking lots it allows us to co-own them without having to actually buy them we're buying them by way of the real estate investment trust uh, alam natin no ngayon pa lang pag-usapan din natin kanina by way of uh, that discussion about uh, law of supply and demand which pretty much jacks up the prices of uh, uh, real estate properties real estate investing it's it's super expensive kung wala kang cash again because it's expensive you're going to have to borrow but so we have limited access to capital hindi ganun kadaling mangutang kailangan mo minsan ng collateral lalo na if uh, malaking halaga yung babayaran mo you also need to factor in your capacity to pay kasi kailangan mo magbayad plus interest It's one thing that you're investing or owning real estate assets. It's another thing that uh, you need to factor in expenses pagdating sa maintenance. Kailangan mong ayusin yan kapag nasira, kailangan mong i-remodel kapag luma na, kailangan mong i-renovate for you to you know, retain its value and uh, usability. Andyan din ang concentration risk, andyan din ang liquidity risk because uh, hindi naman ganun kadali i-flip ang real estate lalo na in, in uh, uh, a challenging environment. No? But these problems, lahat ng problema na to, nasosolve yan ng real estate investment trust. Even the problem of having to think about insurance, you know, nasosolve yan ng real estate investment trust. Because again, real estate investment trust as a form of investment, super affordable. Uh, no need for you to uh, uh, even borrow. It minimizes the, uh, uh, the propensity for you to borrow. Um, it provides you with instant diversification. Hindi ka pwedeng mamili actually kapag bumili ka ng isang real estate investment trust uh, investment. Lahat ng pagmamayari niya, pagmamayari mo na rin. No? So yung mall, yung hospital, yung parking lot, yung office building, lahat yun sa'yo na. It provides you with instant diversification. No need to spend on maintenance, no need to spend on insurance because the Real Estate Investment Trust Corporation will do that for you. It's professionally managed. Kung sa mutual fund, fund manager lang ang nagtatrabaho for you. Dito may fund manager ka, may property manager ka, may admin man- manager ka pa uh, working all for you. It's uh, very liquid, kagaya ng mutual fund. So kapag gusto mong omexit, benta ka lang ng shares ng REITs. No? Hindi mo kailangang hintayin mabenta yung real estate property nila. Um, guaranteed dividends. Sabi ng batas ng Real Estate Investment Trust, 90% of its uh, uh, income should be distributed to us, uh, us investors in the form of dividends. At uh, so far, no? ang uh, dalawang uh, listed real estate investment trust corporations dito sa Pilipinas, they're consistent when it comes to uh, giving out dividends at least on a quarterly basis. And again, what makes it very a very viable, a very investor-friendly, a very millennial-friendly investment option is that for as little as 2,500 pesos, you can actually start investing in real estate investment trusts. No? Um, uh, if you're going to look at it, let's also compare if you're going to buy commercial uh, income generating real estate properties, prepare to spend billions of pesos. Pag bumili ka ng building, pag bumili ka ng mall, kapag bumili ka ng hospital, easily, easily billions of pesos. 
but uh, you can also buy them by way of real estate investment trusts without having to spend billions. Again, for as little as 2,500 pesos, you can actually start co-owning these income generating commercial real estate assets. No? Now, madalas ang nangyayari sa atin is bahala na. Madalas ang nangyayari sa atin when we're faced with uh, tough decisions, uh, bahala na si Batman. Uh, bata pa naman ako. Guys, I'm telling you, we're, we as millennials, we're no longer kids. We're, we're, we're not getting any younger. When we were 20 years old, parati natin sinasabi, bata pa ako, I'm going to think about investing later. By the time we turn 30, isipin natin, we're starting our own families. Uh, I'll prioritize our day-to-day needs first. Prioritize ko muna yung pagpapakasal ko. Uh, prioritize ko muna yung pagpapatayo ng bahay. By the time we turn 40, ang iniisip naman natin, ang dami ko pang responsibilidad sa buhay. By the time we turn 50, ang iniisip naman natin, parang too late na. na ilang ilang taon na lang magre-retire na ako, baka hindi na ako dapat mag-invest. Yung anak ko na lang yung bahala dyan. Hanggang sa eventually, hindi na tayo nakapag-invest. All because we keep on making all sorts of excuses. We keep on justifying why we don't need to invest. We talked about Alibaba, you know, the grandfather of uh, online shopping, the grandfather of uh, 11.11.1188 sale. Alibaba, it's the biggest online store, but it has no inventory. Wala siyang binibentang Alibaba products and services. Airbnb, it's the biggest uh, accommodations provider, but it owns zero real estate properties. Uber, it's the biggest transport network provider but it owns no vehicles. Kanina yung mga ginagamit nila, Uber, Grab, hindi naman sa kanila yun. It's actually owned by uh, 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 private citizens, by, by people. No? They're just providing us with the platform. Similarly, Facebook, it's uh, the biggest uh, social media uh, outlet, but it has zero content. In fact, hindi nga natin pwedeng makonsider na content ni Facebook yung mga posts ni Mark Zuckerberg because he's Mark Zuckerberg. He's not Facebook. So Facebook itself, no content. Where am I trying to get at? You know? First, Metro Securities. Stock brokerage arm of Metro Bank. Uh, your 2017, 2018, 2020, 2021 uh, best broker in the Philippines. We're trying to make Filipinos realize that they don't need millions. They don't need to invest millions for them to make millions. And the good thing about that is they can actually start their investing journey by skipping the line and by doing everything online. You know, stock market allows you to own a business without having to run a business for as little as 5,000 pesos quarantine investment. Mutual funds provides you with a diversified, professionally managed portfolio for as little as 5,000 pesos, quarantine investment. FMETF, the first and still the only exchange-traded fund in the Philippines, which allows you to invest only in stable, top-performing, dividend-paying companies for as little as 1,500 pesos, quarantine investment. Real estate investment trusts allows you to co-own income-generating commercial real estate properties and receive guaranteed dividends 2,500 pesos minimum investment amount, quarantine investment. Everything, stocks, funds, exchange-traded funds, real estate investment trusts, everything in one very powerful online investment account. It's throw in UITF, it's throw in bonds. No? Everything in one very powerful account. You can also invest in peso in dollar denominated uh, mutual funds from our fund smart partners ALFM ATR asset management first metro asset management philam asset management phil equity and sun life asset management you can fund your account by way of metro bank uh, over the counter metro bank online and metro bank mobile app you can fund it via ps bank mobile app you can fund it via metro remit singapore you can fund your uh, uh, first MetroSec online trading account via BDO online, via BPI online, via Union Bank, through Land Bank, through Land Bank's OF Bank, through Gcash, through Coins.ph, through Click uh, Booths in 7-Eleven, 
through Gaisano booths, Gaisano mall booths, NCCC and LCC malls, uh, through Visa, MasterCard, and JCB credit cards. So again, you have from 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 investing options to funding options, everything's online, everything's paperless. You also get the opportunity to automate your investments by way of our voluntary investment program for as little as 1,500 pesos every month. Uh, you also get to uh, access our on-demand market education programs in our official YouTube channel, whether you fancy basic, uh, intermediate, or advanced lessons, we have everything right there. Um, uh, if you'd like to get things started, if you'd like to start uh, your investing journey, everything's online and paperless. Uh, first step is for you to visit www.firstmetrosec.com.ph. Next is completely online form. And uh, three is upload your documents online. When you get asked, though, by the system, how did you learn about us? Please click seminar or event and then type in the event code MM2021 or Money and Millennials 2021 so we can identify you as an attendee from this Money and Millennials 2021 uh, program or webinar. Um, uh, before I end, just uh, again, especially for those of you who are just trying to you know, get things started, let me remind you that you don't need to be the best to start. You know, this guy, he was uh, never the best when he started. He was never champion again. He was never undefeated. He was never, he was never the, the, the celebrity. He was never the billionaire again. But it's also very important for us to understand that uh, you need to start for you to become the best. Hindi ka nga magaling agad, pero at the end of it all, kailangan mo pa umpisahan. Work your way through. You know, uh, practice, uh, it's okay to make mistakes along the way. But the good thing about that is uh, you learn from your mistakes. Again, you don't need to be the best to start, but you need to start for you to become the best. So this guy, look at where he is now. All right. So another uh, thing I'd like you to be reminded of is uh, make sure that you keep keep this in mind. If you keep on spending and spending and spending and spending, especially your hard-earned money, on unnecessary expenses. You're going to keep on losing and losing and losing money. But if you keep on uh, investing and investing and investing and investing and investing, no matter how small the amount is, for as long as it's on a consistent basis, for as long as it's on a regular basis, for as long as it's something that's already embedded in your schedule, in your lifestyle, in your calendar, it will eventually help you not just survive, but more than anything, thrive. Because it's going to contribute more and more and more and more to your war chest. It's going to contribute more and more and more and more to your income. All right. So there you have it. Uh, this has been Andoy Beltran uh, talking about uh, quarantine investments for Money and Millennials 2021. So for anything and everything First MetroSec, that's www.firstmetrosec.com.ph. Please do like us on Facebook. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, First Metro Sec. Follow us on Twitter and on Instagram. And for questions, for speaking engagement invites, I'm just one email away, abeltran at firstmetrosec.com.ph. I'm also on social media as Andoy Beltran. And again, I'm also the guy behind Let's Invest PH on Facebook, Instagram, and on YouTube. So there you have it. Uh, I do hope I was able to uh, uh, share with you everything I need to know. Uh, I, I, I know about uh, money, about uh, our generation, our millennials, and uh, what we can do to uh, make the most out of uh, the situation. So thank you so much for uh, uh, your time. And I do hope uh, you're able to learn a thing or two about uh, money management. Thank you. Bye-bye.